Hello and welcome to Wake and Jake. Myself, Biebs. I'm dressed like a cult leader today for those on the YouTube machine. Hope everyone's having a great week already. Um, NBA playoffs is rolling. They've got that going really well. NHL kind of falling off my radar. I guess I'll, maybe I'll pick that up for the cup. Devil's Mania? I don't know. Not into it. We're blue shirts or die here, as long as they send us I at least games. knew it was happening while the, while the blue shirts were in. It felt like it was a relevant part of my day-to-day, and now it's not. Um, what does feel more relevant is baseball season, and I, I mentioned it last time. I was, I was happy that it feels like baseball games matter, and that's horribly ironic with the Yankees playing the Oakland A's right now, uh, because that's the worst baseball team I've, I've seen in a while. Um, I don't know. I'm starting to understand why Oakland fans are so mad. It's, it's tough. It's a really tough watch. They're 8-29. and 29. Uh, The Yankees are literally calling up guys from AAA to eat innings and sending them down. They've done it the past two nights. Nick Ramirez and Greg Weissert, your favorite players. That, uh, yeah, Oakland fans, I kind of wish I was marching around the stadium with you. Minus 134 run differential. It's historically bad, and I wondered, you always wonder what that means because baseball has that kind of Tim Kirkjian, like something happens different in baseball every day. Uh, that sometimes stats just come up and you're like, oh, yeah, baseball. First time this uh, X has happened. This is bad, and I, you know, I don't want to be rude to the – Oakland athletic players, especially, or any of the players. I think that's fair. Um, you know, Tony Kemp has has had a really nice major league career. Jesus Aguilar, all-star, Loriano, um, and then Brent Rooker's been like their breakout guy this year who's the win of the situation, right? Like, bad baseball team gives guys opportunity. Brent Rooker, who has passed around Twins, Royals, um, he's getting a chance to play. He looks good so far. Um, Esther Ruiz for our baseball nerds. A guy had a three homer game yesterday. Jordan Diaz. Mm-hmm. Happy for you, Oakland. Uh, they're not even what I want to talk about. Their pitching is um, it's tough. Two guys throwing ninety last night. Like you, it's not a formula. It may be days. the last time I see that in a baseball game ever. Two. Like they went. Ruchinski to Patton, right? And that was it? Or did another guy come out? Either way, I'm sorry, Oakland fans. And part of the reason I started there was, oh, yes, Ruchinski to Patton. The fastest fastball in that game must have been 92 for them. 91. Two-seamer got away. Now I got to find that. BBD's on that. Uh, I wanted to talk today... About a similar topic to a degree because we had a, <laughs> we'd have another fun baseball anomaly that popped up. Um, and I think it's interesting topic and I've talked about it a little bit on here and I don't have a perfect answer yet. I did text Jeff Passon this morning, flex. You got the best, <clears throat> best heater, babes? I believe, oh, okay. I found one a little better, okay. a little better. Okay. The fastest ball thrown by an A was Patton. It was to Aaron Judge, um, and it was 92.8 miles per hour. Okay. 91 pitches in the game thrown harder than that. All by the Yankees. All by the Yankees. That's, we might, I might have to talk to Smythe or Katie Sharp or something, because that's unbelievable. As I wear my Bill Walton outfit. Uh, I want to talk standings in playoff format because I, I mentioned there's a fun thing going around right now. If you look at the baseball standings, how you probably do on a normal website, maybe maybe newspapers still do this. I The overlap of Wake and Jake listeners and newspaper readers, newspaper, that's where I'm at, uh, is zero. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a couple. There's a couple. I, I like the concept of the newspaper. Here's something, and maybe arrest us. Jess is stealing our neighbor's newspaper. What? That's a little aggressive. Uh, they just moved, and she kind of knew them. 
and they moved, and the newspaper still got delivered. She knows they aren't. So it's a legal steal. It's a societal steal. I didn't know if it was a somehow. She she just thinks those are for you. <laughs> no, or... I um, yeah, I was a little. I don't want to say disappointed at first, uh, but now the funny situation with that is, uh, someone else has been stealing the sports section before her, <laughs> but she doesn't care, and I don't care because I, I only read Davy Garcia newspaper sports articles, only newspaper I ever bought, but she was mad at them. For stealing the sports section, and I was like, "All right, I'm. I couldn't want to be removed from this more." Um, if you look at the standings, the AL East, my AL East, the Tampa Bay Rays, you know what's going on there. Twenty nine and eight. Everything that uh, at Oakland has been bad at and awful in every degree and metric. The Rays have been good at. The Orioles are 23 and 13. Go O's go. Blue Jays, 21 and 15. Sox, 21 and 16. Yankees, 20 and 17. Bringing up the rear at 20 and 17. A little Oakland was just the magic they needed. And if you're asking, and I told Joe's McFly this in the gaming room alone yesterday, I'm buying a little Yankee stock. Judge is back. The guys in the second half of the lineup who were very bad can only be some version of better. Michael K keeps saying the Yankees truly believe in Jake Bowers in a way that weirds me out. It's past what Boone was saying about Willie Calhoun. And he hit an oppo 420-foot homer yesterday. So I don't know. I was, I was with you. Don't know how on the Twitter streets you were. I tweeted basically exactly that, and then our guy Chris Kirshner sent an article to me that that he wrote. Mm. Uh, it was the first time I read something discernible about oh Bowers like changed something in his swing. He flattened right. it, that has led to a lot more contact. So that, that, right. at least that was he changed something for a little while. I was not very actively looking for some article about Bowers changed something, but. The Yankees are the Yankees. They've had a winning record the past, coming up on 30 years now. They've made the playoffs the past six. Big payroll. You know the whole story. They're currently bringing up the rear. And the anomaly. Anomaly. God damn it. I've been pretty bad at talking lately. I guess Trev's got me nervous for his sideline reporting. Um, And speaking of the AL Central, your first place twins. Great. The pitching's been there. The offense hasn't. Uh... They've been uh, struggling a little bit lately. Correa just came out and said, you know, he expects to be booed for the performance he's giving and the money he's getting paid. Guardians and Tigers have been flip-flopping second place the past couple days, and I want you to think about that because the Tigers are... Whoa, Nelly. Rooting for you, Tigers, but they have very much a chance to be, like, the second worst team in baseball this year if... (laughs) If baseball still takes a course, <laughs> like the Nats haven't looked awful, the Royals uh, have, but I don't know. The Royals could sweep the they Tigers. Just, just sweep their season series, and it's and it's there. Um, and then the White Sox, which is still pretty unreal to fathom all of that, and the Royals, who I mentioned, are 10 and 27. So with all that, the fun fact was the Yankees would be in first place in the Central, and... The sillier fact that's on the screen now, if you just look at the standings in order, all 10 teams, it's technically in order, uh, which has brought up the conversation with baseball uh, that I think we're going to have a lot in the next couple years. Uh, I mentioned I texted Jeff Passan, and Jeff Passan said, go to Lightbox and get your mom a Mother's Day gift that she will remember forever. It's this Sunday, people. If you're looking to up the ante, Lightbox. They're lab-grown diamonds. Pricing, you'll understand for the diamond world. If you're looking to get mom or wife or whoever it is, the Mother's Day gift that they'll remember. I got my mom a lot of flowers. You know, I think if you did one of those, remember those old quizzes where you get 
you get a row on one side, you get a row on the other side, and you just had to connect the line. Those quizzes used to be sick. Fun. Definitions, usually. If you put the Mother's Day year and the different flowers, and my mom had to pick them, she'd go over. She might get one. She might just go across the lines and get a lucky connect. Um, she'd remember this one. Sparkly studs, brilliant necklaces. Uh, skip the socks and be the MVP of a Mother's Day. A Mother's Day she'll never forget. And with promo code WAKEINJAKE10, 10% off your purchase. There's a link in the description. If you're here, Mother's Day is coming and you're trying to make a memory, get with Lightbox. Um, Jeff Passon said, not that, uh, I asked him, it was early, I woke up early today, I fell asleep on the couch, post-Yankees, uh, post-Sixers. Mm. How about that jazz? Um, woke up at 4.30 a.m., tried to go back to bed, didn't happen. Was actually feeling pretty good, because I think I crunched the numbers on it, I landed around... Seven hours of sleep, which is pretty pretty good night for me recently. That, that works. Um, so I went to the gym. You're active, kind of want to talk to people, but you know people aren't up. I sent Jeff Passing a baseball going to change division format soon. He said only after expansion, I think, which brings in the whole when is expansion coming, two teams are going to happen. I wonder... I just have no idea timelines on that. Like, baseball How knows. does that come together? Baseball knows, right? Like, there's a binder in Manfred's office that says 32 teams 2025, right? Like, how could it not? At the same time, let me step back, because I saw a couple more updates on Oakland moving to Vegas. And just a reminder that 99% of the people in the world that we view as having these crazy jobs or they must be superhuman. Like, to get a general manager job in baseball seems insane, right? There's 30 gigs and you, you know, if you don't have a base, if you didn't play baseball or have like a, you know, remember that influx of Theo and all those guys with the socks that like, they had degrees from MIT and shit. I don't know. Like, a lot of seem, Ivy League. Seems like a very difficult path, or you need to befriend owners or Ivy League or played baseball and be Ivy League. Um, that, yeah, it seems like, wow, to get to one of those positions, you, you know, you got to be pretty dialed in. Oakland's moving thing looks like it's going to be a disaster to go along with the product that's currently on the field. Because I think last year is their last year in the Coliseum. I think if they're leaving Oakland, they're kicked out of the Coliseum. The Vegas field isn't supposed to be ready for till 2025, but none of it's, like, signed off on. Like, there's still, like, hundreds of millions off on how to build it. The people that run the world are very rarely geniuses. I guess that's my going-away statement. They're, they're a lot closer to, a, to just a dude than... Or dudette, to be fair. That's a gender-neutral term. Maybe we need more dudettes. It's true. It's true. Um, baseball will be adding two teams at some point, and with the balanced schedule, like, that was the first move. Like, in that binder that Manfred has, first move was balanced schedule. Check. Get people used to that. Once you get people used to the balanced schedule, then we're going to add two. T- we change the playoff format. And guess what? That's probably going to change again at some point, especially after adding two more teams. Because sports leagues view the playoffs as a percentage of how many teams. And actually, the more teams that make the playoffs, they view as a beneficial thing to their product, which I think any sports fan would argue, and I think is short-sighted, and I think that's right. Because look where the NBA's at. Regular season NBA, man. It's tough, and it kind of doesn't matter. I know that sounds rude, but look at look at what Jimmy Butler and the Heat are doing right now. Eight seed. Hmm. You know, there's a little LOL Knicks going on right now, and maybe we'll talk about that. 
Um, Could base- be a fun summer. Baseball is going to change their their format and their divisions at some point, and it's what's going to be the right answer. Because this year, I think if you asked executives around baseball who is the better team, Yankees, Twins, I think you'd still get 2010 Yankees. You know, there's some injury stuff. Who's and w- better? There's injury stuff and wiggle area there that I'm not sure about. Um, you know, Guardians, Yankees, probably the same. Red Sox, Twins, Red Sox, Guardians. You might get closer. You might get closer. But if baseball keeps continuing the way it is with The Chicago White Sox have never given out more than $75 million to a player. Andrew Benintendi is their leader in the clubhouse, contract-wise. Just got it. Just happened, and not to be shots fired at Benintendi, but he's he's a nice player. He's not like a franchise-changing player. Hate to be rude. I'm not trying to be. Before learning that fact, nobody says he has the highest rec- contract in the uh, yeah. franchise's history. That, I don't know. I I think whether salary floor, which if I say the word salary floor to Trevor Plouffe, he gives me one of the biggest stink faces he'll he'll give me because he knows that the only way to get a salary floor is to get a salary cap. Uh, I think the money in baseball is becoming a problem that it's almost impossible for some of these teams to truly compete in the central if they're not going to pay real money. And we also know that's an ownership thing because, again, the Padres, small market, we've done that a lot. These other teams can do that. We've seen Tigers' payrolls get up there. I mean, look at the Twins. Like, how easy would it be to say the Minnesota Twins don't have a big payroll? But they've signed Correa. Like, they re-upped Buxton. Like, the pitching staff, they've, they're doing enough to be a competitive version of their team. But they're still fighting from behind compared to Yankees, Red Sox, Jays. And those are the bottom three teams in the East right now. So, will realignment happen? I I was looking at NBA and trying to figure out because I I think their seeding, their top three seeds are locked in by division. Is it still? That's what I was double checking because the past two years, it's been in order, fully. Yeah, I, th- I feel like I remember it being a story that they came away from it. I could be wrong. But. I think you're right because the Celtics and the Bucks last year were both the two and the three, and they're in the same division. Um, and then this year, I don't think Celtics and Bucks are same division. Or. Sa- NBA, I don't really get. I'll be honest. I only know the Knicks division. How weird is that? It, 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 it just it doesn't fully matter. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. And I guess that's There's the a banner. That's the concern for baseball, right? Because we have so many rivalries that that's. I think that's why everyone's on their hands and doesn't know what to do. Still want that to matter. It matters a lot in football. Because say just the AL is one big conference. Then, yeah, if we're going to get six or seven or potentially eight playoff teams in the future, which, by the way, that's probably going to happen. And I know you guys get, like, really sad when when me, Jimmy, Trev say that, but it's because that's what the owners really want. And when the owners really want something, they're going to get it. It's just a matter of time. Um, That, yeah, if they make the whole AL – a big hodgepodge of teams, and the top eight make the playoffs. If they... The crazier thing that I've talked myself into that I think is scary but exciting is if we just go full East and West divisions, and I know we've done that on this show a couple times. Um, Again, the Central... Because def- depending how you mix up the centrals, 
Like, the East sounds badass. Like, let's jump to the future. 32 teams, eight teams in the playoffs. Braves, Phillies, Mets. The whole AL East. That's eight. That's your eight. So depending who you get from the Central, and these, those aren't the current standings, I'm just talent-wise how these teams sort out, I think. Just what happens to the Central? Because I know we're tough on them sometimes, and maybe this is a huge overreaction. Maybe the Cardinals are making a movie right now. But that's part of the reason I bet on the Cardinals the other day. They're eight games back of the Pirates. The Brewers, half game of that. The Cardinals are playing the Cubs right now. They've won the past two nights. I think the Cardinals are still a better team than the Cubs. I'm sorry. Uh, If you're a Cubs fan, and I know we have a couple in here, that probably hurts, but I think if you're being honest with yourself, you know that's a conversation. Like, if I didn't tell you the records, and I told you that the, the Cardinals were four and a half games behind the Cubs in May, you'd say, wow, Cubbies must have got off to a great start, huh? Cubs are 17 and 19. I like what they did. You know, they added talent, and it's a long season, and with the Central, I think the Pirates are going to fade. You know, if the Cubbies can get hot and do what we've talked about a lot, play 500 ball when you need it and have a couple hot streaks, they're going to be in the mix. Um, they're a game and a half better than the Reds. Who's got any Reds stock? Reds owner was like the most hated guy in the world. Coming into this baseball season. I don't know the timeline and I don't know the answer. That's Jake Storielli, beat reporter. (laughs) It's going to change and I don't know the right answer. Because the other thing that I'm feeling, and whoever your team is, you're definitely feeling a little bit. It doesn't feel like the teams you want to see playing are playing enough games. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's out. But the Yankees are four series against the Rays, four series against the Red Sox. I think that's right. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Like, Especially when you see teams like the Yankees played the Rays last weekend, they're going to play them this weekend. That's half our games versus the Rays this year? It just doesn't feel right. And that's where I guess I'm not backpedaling on I want every team to play each other each year because I do think the showcasing of star players to every other fan base is important. But maybe it's two games. Like, it doesn't have to be a lot. Like, I know I hate the two-game sets. And I do, so maybe I'm going to even walk myself off of that. But if it was three games, because that's kind of what we're doing now, right? I think it's three are, like, guaranteed. I'm sure there's some four-gamers and and all that. but And you have one, like, the Yankees and Mets play two two two-game sets. So I think everybody's got a team they do that with. At 4.30 this a.m., I thought I was going to dive into full schedule making. I've told myself I'm going to do that a few times. I'm not. If I do, I might loop in Jess, because that's the only way I think my brain can actually complete it. Like, I need to give Jess all of my thoughts. She needs to interpret them almost as a neutral party, which she is. She said something so funny about sports yesterday. I forget what it was. It was so inherently mean. About something I love. Um, that I don't know. Like, I'm craving more Red Sox. Like, I, I spe- I've been hyped about Red Sox Orioles series this year because it's an awesome formula. Ton of offense, good bullpens, drama. Two funky stadiums right now. Like, I'm, I'm hyped for all of those games. Yankees Red Sox this year should probably be pretty lit. Like, we talked about in 2017 how 
we got the rare look at an upstart Yankee team. That might never happen again in our lifetimes. Maybe we're wrong, and that's going to happen every 10, 15 years. But young Judge and young Gary, Greg Burt, like some of these young guys, Luis Severino, the Baby Bombers, Brian Hoke wrote the book, kid. That that was unique. What about the Red Sox and Yankees fighting for their, like, life? Like, fighting for jobs. Hmm. And I don't know if it'll stay at the bottom of the division. I think it's got a chance to. And man, those Blue Jays. I don't know what to do. They've played a lot more road games than away games, so maybe that's it. Um, the Blue Jays should not be in the mix with the Yankees and the Red Sox right now. And they are. If that team ends up near the bottom, my goodness. And by the way, they're a game and a half ahead of the Yanks for last place in the AL East. It's going to be messy. I'm also a big fan of not always reacting to one year. I want to see things play out. I've said that with Pitch Clock. I've said that with some other different things. Because I do think the Twins or the Guardians, maybe both of them are going to finish with a record that's high. Like, one of the AL Central teams is going to win 87 games this year, minimum. And that'll be better than the worst AL East team. I think. I hope. So I don't know what the answer is. I, I still like if you're playing more games in your division that your division should get an automatic in. I don't know where we're going. Uh, and I wonder if baseball does, I guess. I guess that'll be my final statement on that because... I don't know, man. I, I said all that without talking about the AL West, which has four teams that think they're dancing this year. So I guess it was piggybacking off last episode a little bit, taking shots at the AL mid and potentially the NL mid. Um, they got to watch themselves from getting... Damn, they're not far from being in the same situation. From getting extra sloppy. Marlins on second. I think. The Pirates. Pirates play a rubber match with the Rockies today and then play the Orioles this weekend. Like, I, I already know where that's going. Pirates, here's something rude. I can almost lock in the Pirates will be under 500 by May 28th. Is that Memorial Day weekend? Here's the Pirates schedule. Orioles in Baltimore. Two versus the Tigers, Sure. Snakes for three. Who the snakes are? Snakes and pirates? Sure. Figure it out. Rangers for three. I think the Rangers are good. And then Seattle for three. So that is, including the Rockies game today, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen games. They're five games above 500, so they'd have to go five and ten. Is that my math? I think the Pirates will be 500 by Memorial Day. Prove me wrong, Pirates. I was driving the bus there. That was the little baseball that was on the mind today. It was a hot topic. Um, I think we can do a little NBA. I know some of you will change the channel, but the 76ers are up 3-2 to two on the Boston Celtics. Um, Embiid has a big night. Maxi, who's always kind of been... He's the new wild card. Like, the old wild card was Tobias Harris, who, by the way, efficient last night, 16-11 and 11 in a playoff game. You'll take that from Tobias Harris on 7 of 10 shooting. Maxi's the big difference maker, uh, I think, formulaically. What? For the Sixers. 10 of 21 last night, 6 of 12 from 3. Uh, he's electric. He's a one-man fast break, which is pretty cool. Harden. Harden takes eight shots last night. Eight shots. 17, and, 10, and 8. I know he gets to the line a lot. but Yeah. So that's only however much more, though. 
But it's it's not an obnoxious amount. Like Celtics went to the line more. Yeah, he he didn't lead the team in free throws. And this was in Boston. Um, I mean, Brown has an okay night on paper. Tatum, 11 for 27. You'd like that to be a little, slightly more efficient. Uh, Horford, who they lean on. And they do. And I want to give credit before I give discredit. It feels like Big Al always answers the bell. Particularly... When he's on the Celtics. When he's on the Celtics. He's 36 now, and I was running through my head going all the way back to his Florida team, the two-time champs, and, um, you know, Joe Kim Noah was first kind of regarded as, like, the, like, dude, like, defensive player of the year and, you know, big contract, those Bulls teams that were going to take over the East. Um, Al Horford, the fact he's still doing it, Corey Brewer, um, was on that team. Al Horford, it's a tough game, and I'm I'm not going to kill him, but, you know, game five, going back to Philly now. I don't know. I, I can't tell where my internal Boston dislike starts and stops. I've been rooting for Philly in the series. I, I also gave you my regards on, like, I know Harden can stink, but when he's really good, it's awesome. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. In my head, I've already processed that LeBron and the Lakers are going to the finals, which I don't know if it's Mm. true. They're up 3-1 on Golden State, which is incredible. The ending to that game uh, was a little bit of a mess, but LeBron's... LeBron's putting on a master class. He truly is. Like, NBA people's minds are being blown by him. They keep talking about how he's um, doing load management during games, which, I mean, that's, that's an insane thought process. I am now officially rooting for Sixers Nuggets, Embiid versus Jokic, the MVP debate, two big men. Like, think about that. The NBA has been so horny, for lack of a better term, about shooting and guards and wings that if we got an NBA Finals with Joker and Embiid, just think about all the narratives. Like, they're obviously not traditional big men. I mean, Joker... You know, when every year we do the point guard discussion, like, who are the best point guards? And it's like, do you add LeBron in that conversation? Like, do you add Joker? Like, he's, he's kind of their point god on offense, right? Um, Goes through him. And Embiid, obviously what he can do offensively is special and what he can do defensively is special. That um, Will it be the return of the big man? I don't know. Uh, when by Yama in the draft. That's officially what I'm rooting for. Um, Sixer Celtics still feels destined for game seven. I When's Tatum going to have his moment moment? Everyone fucking loves Tatum. And when he's hot, I'm like, okay, I get it. And I realize this Celtics teams, they went to the finals last year. Was that their second finals with Tatum or first? I think this is the first. If Tatum is that guy, now's the time. And it's kind of a really good opportunity, right? Like, it's you're not getting guarded by Embiid. Yeah, it's the first. Like, Tatum be that guy. And I think he's got a chance to be. And now's the time, but I... Again, I don't know where my hater lines start and stop with Boston. But I in my head, Tatum's not currently that guy. Maybe here's your opportunity. Down two games, go to Philly and do it, come back to Boston and do it. Be that guy. Uh, Nuggets and Suns series technically hasn't started. The old adage of Hmm. doesn't series doesn't start until the road team wins a game. 
Home team is home team has won every game. Um, I thought with how ugly the playoffs looked this year that this was the Nuggets' best chance because they've kind of done it the right way. They're what you want to believe in. Like Joker, Murray came back. Um, they've tapped into Aaron Gordon, which was like an NBA myth for a little bit. MPJ. Uh, they kept Mike Malone, who I remember even going back to when I lived in Denver. They were like, I don't, he's not the guy, right? Especially during the sexy period of coaches, like Jason Kidd, Steve Nash. Like, Mike Malone wasn't, wasn't that guy. Uh, they, it feels like the Nuggets have done it the right way. Phoenix is kind of the opposite, right? They just added Durant. <laughs> They're, they're going for it. I do love Booker. He's he's cool. Uh, that Whoever wins that series, I won't necessarily be sad, but I kind of want to re- reward the Nuggets for how they've done it. But then you've got LeBron and Durant. Like, how about that? Are the Knicks dead, Biebs? Be it's, honest. They, It feels dead. After... I mean, but both efforts in Miami, but especially the game four effort, like that the effort. Game three, they they couldn't buy a shot. The rebounding stuff was tough to watch. It's yeah. like painful. It was that was as bad of a game as as, as it gets. Yeah. That's the very last thing you wanted to see from the Knicks in game four. If you don't win a game with Jimmy Butler playing on the court. And you're the Knicks. Sheesh. They got to win game five. Yeah. That's the they, thing, right? They choked away. Choked away game one, which sucks. Golden State and the Lakers. Let's hope for game seven. Um, even if you're a LeBron fan. And hey, if they go in and win in five... You know, that's one of the nicer notches on LeBron's belt. I know this isn't isn't, isn't the Golden finals State teams and... from the past couple of years, but uh with how this playoffs has with how these playoffs have gone and keeping LeBron fresh, that would be huge. Um I just want LeBron and Curry game seven. Like I'm I think any sports fan could want that. If you're a Lakers fan, you're the only person who doesn't want that at this point. Um, I don't know if we'll get it. On the other side, if if Curry and the Warriors came back from 3-1 on LeBron, oh, my God. Stephen A. Smith. The internet in general. That Those would lead to some tweets that you'd click in to see the responses with no, mm-hmm. with not wanting to partake at all. With it's a not, good scroll. Without wanting to partake at all. Uh... Hey, enjoy the sports uh, as the NBA playoffs trickle along. We're probably going to get some Game 7s this weekend, right? Something's going seven. Right? It, it has to. NBA. Celtics Sixers at least feels like we, we got to be heading there. There will be some 7s this weekend, so make sure you watch that. Um, again, baseball series are mattering, which I'm obviously biased, but like Yankees race. For four games this weekend. If the if the Yankees lose three of the four, they will not catch the Rays this year. Early May. Mid-May by the time it's done. I'm sorry. Um, and like Cardinals games. You're telling me those don't matter right now? Like if they don't get the ship straightened out, they're done. So I'm... I feel like I'm seeing games every day that actually matter... And I don't know if that has to do with playoffs or I don't know if I'm too close to the situation, but um, I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. So let's enjoy the sports this weekend. NHL, come find us. Maybe give us a game seven. Dallas and Dallas and Seattle's two games apiece. Mm-hmm. See you there. Um, watch everything on John Boy Media. We love you guys. Go sports. <laughs>